friends, I'm Patrick. Thank you again for joining me. This video is titled, How You Can Quickly Tell That the Foundational Teachings of Freemasonry Are False. Just consider these facts. Freemasonry requires its member to believe in the existence of a supreme being and to believe that there is only one God. Freemason refers to its God as the great architect of the universe. It teaches that all men of all various religions worship one God by simply using a variety of different names. It is on the, that this basis that Masons may be Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, and men who also claim they follow Jesus. Freemasonry requires a belief in the existence of a spring being, but it does not define that being and never defines the Lord Jesus Christ as actually God's only begotten Son or God manifest in the flesh. The Holy Bible, however, reveals to us that the truth is Isaiah 45, 5. We read, we read, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, thou hast not known me. However, it states that those who practice pagan religions worship idols and, de and devils rather than the God of the Bible. Psalms 96.5 reveals that the gods of the, the many nations which surrounded Israel were idols. Those people did not worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens exactly what's going on today with our government those people didn't <clears throat> he revealed that pagans worship devils rather than gods first corinthians 10 19 through 20 what say i then that the idol is anything or that which is offered and sacrificed to idols is anything but i say that the things which the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils and not to god and i would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Hmm. That's pretty strong words. Hinduism, Buddhism, Wicca, and many other modern day pagan religions worship devils rather than the God of the Bible. We know this because anyone who rejects Jesus Christ also rejects God the Father. In 2 John 9, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. Now, this clearly is teaching that abiding in it is abiding in the doctrine, not abiding in any works, but actually just continuing the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> With these facts clearly documented from the Holy Bible, it is easy to know that the foundational teachings of Freemasonry, namely that all men worship God, is not true. Since Freemasonry does not fall in the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, the little God of Freemasonry cannot be the real God of the Bible. Since God is a spirit, a question you might ask a worshipful master or other mason is the following. Is Venetia the God which the Hindus worship, the same God which you refer as the great ancient architect of the universe? It is a simple question. The answer is either yes or no. If the Mason answers yes, then you will know he does not know the difference between the God of the Bible and Satan. Maybe he's reading the NIV even. He does not know God. How can he even be a Christian? If he says no, then obviously I've demonstrated to him that all men do not worship the same God simply by using a variety of different names. When Freemasonry accepts the God of a Hindu as a supreme being, it declares that devils are supreme beings. How can he be sure that the spirit he worships in a lodge as the great ancient architect of the universe is not a devil? <clears throat> Does Freemasonry lift up Jesus Christ as the only way to salvation as documented in John 14:6? When the Masons are standing in the streets taking up money for the Shriners, are they handing out any anything about the gospel when they hand out their little newspaper? There are uh, other good works like the uh, Shriners Hospitals. When uh, when they help a burned child, 
do they do they have a preacher that goes in there and actually knows the gospel, the real gospel, the one that actually saves a soul from hell? Do they go in there and actually provide that to children as well? Freemasonry does not follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. And also, if you look at the Shriners Hospitals, you'll notice that they have a crescent moon flipped upside down, which is, uh, indicates that they, uh, they cling to a little bit of what Islam teaches. You can study that in my other videos. Therefore, they do not have God. See, 2 John 9. Freemasonry is a pagan religion. Paul warned that it is not possible for a man to participate in paganism and also be a Christian. He wrote in 1 Corinthians 10.21, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. In John 4.24, Jesus told us, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. If a man has bought into the Masonic law that all men worship the same God simply by using a variety of different names, then how is he worshiping the truth? Therefore, he cannot be worshiping God when he goes into, into the Masonic temple. It is another religion and not compatible with Christianity. Christianity is the only way, and that is believing on the biblical Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your time watching my video. Feel free to look at my other videos. Have a good day. God bless. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son.